Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be going through just the general layout of GoodNotes and how it works and how I am personally using it to prepare for my online semester. So school for me starts in about less than a week and I have some summer assignments that I have had to take notes on so I decided now would be a good time to download GoodNotes and give it a try. So let's get into the video. So when you open GoodNotes, it takes you to this documents page where you will access all of your documents and notebooks. And right now, as you can see, I only have this one business law notebook because it is the only summer assignment I have been assigned. But before I go into everything I've been working on here and how I've used GoodNotes for this assignment, I'm just going to hop over here and make a new notebook to show you guys a fresh process of um, all of the functions that GoodNote offers. So something I really like about GoodNotes is that you get to personalize your covers, which I think is a really cool feature. And as you can see, there are so many to choose from. And then moving on, you get to select all your paper. So you have blank, dotted, squared, ruled, ruled wide, and you can even have a planner and a to-do list. But we are just going to do legal and then you title your notebook. So we'll just do YouTube video and create. So now when you go back to the documents page, you'll see that now there are two notebooks listed and you can access either one of them. So going into the YouTube video one, you can see that this is the paper we selected and the cover. So starting off with the functions of GoodNotes, you'll see that there's a pen and to choose from, there's a fountain pen, ballpoint pen and brush pen. And then if you move to the right, there are three different sizes for the pen. There is 0 0.3, 0 0.55, and 1.5. So they pretty much all look very similar as you can see here, except this last pen was a little thicker, but for note taking purposes, I'm always in ball pen and then 0 0.3 millimeters. And then moving over, there is the eraser, and there's also three different sizes for the eraser. So we'll just go ahead and erase this. And then there's the highlighter. And I really like this function because I think it really just ties the notes together and makes them look really realistic and neat. And there's only three colors listed here, but if you just double tap on one of these, it takes you to a preset, but you can also make any custom color you want and add it to your presets as well, and it'll appear. And the next function we have are these shapes that you see right here. And this is really cool because if you see here, if you just draw a shape and you release, it makes it into a perfect shape and straight lines. And I use the lines the most, um, and you'll see that when I show you my notes that I've already taken. But overall, it's just a really cool function. So moving on to this next tool, it is called the lasso tool, as you see here. And it is for if you have writing. So let's say we have like and subscribe. But you don't want it in the middle of the page, you want it somewhere else, you hit the lasso tool and you make a circle around it and you can drag it anywhere on the page, which is really cool and convenient if you have something that isn't even on the page or you just want it somewhere else. So now moving on, the next function that GoodNotes has to offer is you can import pictures directly onto your notes. So I have this picture of the preamble of the Constitution because that is what my summer assignment is on. And you can make it bigger, smaller, and move it all around, as you can see. And it's really cool to have it directly on the notes. And something I like doing is inserting pictures like this and then going back to the object tool and making an almost border around the picture and it'll make it into a perfect square. And then obviously the next icon is just the camera as you see and then moving on there is the text option and you just select the text and then tap anywhere on the screen and then you can type and then if you want to change the font or anything about it you just select all, you can bold it, italicize it and then all of these functions make it bigger smaller and then even change the font 
which is all of these fonts as you see here. So now moving away from the text option, the next function is this little PowerPoint. So if you're showing someone your work, you can almost identify where you want them to look. So there's this option for the line, and then there's also just this dot, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know how I'd use that, but it's an option. <laughs> So now this is my favorite function that GoodNotes has to offer, and it's on the far left of the toolbox, and it is a magnifier. So as you can see here, I'm moving around this blue box, and this blue box essentially just magnifies everything on the screen and really helps with your handwriting to be more precise and organized. So I'm just going to write at the bottom, and then as you can see, it's getting transferred to the top. So just hello, my name, and then I'm running out of room on the right. So then this blue box appears and you can just continue your writing. So you don't have to continuously scroll. So now if we move up here in the top left corner, you'll see four boxes and an icon. And if you click on that, you can just have an overview of what is in your notebook. So now going back to my other notebook for business law, these are the notes that I have taken so far for this class. And as you can see, the assignment was to go over the Bill of Rights and then the Constitution, which I haven't made it that far on. And one of my hesitations I had when doing digital note taking was that I wouldn't be able to easily find things in my notes because on a laptop or when you're typing your notes, you can easily search for key terms, which makes studying really easy. But if you go to the top left, you'll see a magnifying glass and or a search icon and you can search for any word. So well, the title of this page is business law. So we can type in business law and it'll actually identify that I have it on the cover and on this. So as you can see, it highlighted it in orange. So we'll do another one. Uh, we have statement right here. So we'll type in statement. And it shows me that I have statement right here and somewhere else in the document. So I'm super excited about that function. And even if you don't have like the best of handwriting, if you just write something like YouTube, kind of messy and all over the place, if you still search for it, sure enough, it will find it on the document. And I just think that is really, really cool. So as you can see from these notes, I've utilized a lot of the accessories that GoodNotes offer. So I've used multiple highlighters, different colors and thicknesses of pens, and then the um, shape correcting borders, which I think is a really useful tool. And then of course, down here, I have typed notes. So for taking notes, I really like having a clear separation between things I'm talking about, and that's where these lines come in play. So that is just from going to the shapes, zooming in and making some sort of a line and it'll correct it. And obviously that was a very thick pen setting, but that is how I'm getting all of those lines underneath each section. So when I am taking notes, I'll just swipe up here and I'll split my screen with Safari. And as you can see, I have the constitution pulled up here. So it's very easy to just switch between apps and be able to read and take notes at the same time. So now that I have it in split screen mode, I will show you guys a little bit of how I take notes. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more iPad and productivity videos to come on my channel. And as always, I will see you on the flip.